Hey guys, we're back with the next instalment on painting the tank. And we've got the color down. I think there's about four coats of color on here. And it's dried with quite a bit of orange peel, which I'm not sure it'll be visible in the camera, but under the lights, you can see in the reflection, hopefully, uh, it's quite mottled. So that's called orange peel. And if you ask the internet, there's a thousand reasons why you get it. Um, if you're spraying with a, a spray gun and a compressor, then you can control airflow and you can control paint, um, which you can modify those to reduce orange peel. But when you're spraying with an aerosol can, it's not a whole lot you can do in terms of controlling the paint output. So we've got a quite a bit of orange peel. Wasn't unexpected, I guess. But we can color sand the orange peel and flatten out the surface even further and that'll just make it look, uh, reflect the light better to look shinier. So there's nothing wrong with this finish as it is. You could run this finish quite happily, uh, but I'm gonna do a couple more steps uh, just to add some decoration to the tank and maybe show a couple of other techniques you could use on a tank such as this. So let's check it out. Okay, so here's my high tech drawing of the tank. Fill filler, that's the back and that's the front. And what I'm thinking of doing is just to decorate this tank a bit further, I'm going to run a stripe right down the center. And I'm going to have some stars in the paint. So I'm going to put three or four stars in the paint. So I think I might do a central stripe of one color and then I'll do a thin stripe right next to it, maybe in different color. So I think I've got the, bl uh, the blue and the red so I'm not sure whether I'll do blue in the middle or red in the middle, doesn't really matter. But what I'm planning to do is mask up that center stripe. And then I'm going to, using these I just printed off the net, is I'm gonna cut these out of some masking film, which is what guys doing airbrushing or even artists would use this. I've got this at an art supply shop. So I'm gonna cut these, I'm gonna use these little stars as templates. I'm gonna cut out some stars. I'm gonna stick them straight onto the tank and paint over them, and then when I remove the temple, uh, the little star mask, then I'm going to reveal, you know, a tank-colored star underneath this paint that's going to be in here. So I'll just leave a, a cream-colored star in the stripe. So I'm going to put a bunch of stars down the center. So I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm learning as I go as well. So I'm going to have a crack at it and see how it works. So the next step that I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna take the thin uh, masking tape, which is used for painting. And if you think about it, it's gonna be pretty hard to get a parallel line right down the center of the tank because these surfaces are all curved. So you can't really use a piece of tape, say so masking tape uh, and get a straight line. You can't even use a, like a laser line because the curve of the tank will bend the, bend the line a little bit. So what I think I'm gonna do first, and again, I'm just mucking around as I go, is I'm gonna try and get a center line with the tape, which hopefully should be easier to do right down the middle of the tank. And then I'll try and run a parallel line either side of that center line, and that'll form my stripe. And then I'll stick my stars down the center and then I'll mask the rest of the tank off and then I'll spray that color. And then we'll come back and we'll spray in the lines either side of that as well. And once all that's done, then I'm gonna use some clear coat and clear it out. And if we get some more orange peel in the clear coat, then I'm going to color sand the clear coat and hopefully smooth that out as best we can. So let's get into it. Okay, so you can see how I've achieved that central stripe, which based on my size of my stars, is about what I'm looking for. So I didn't design it this way, but that central stripe is also going to be helpful for me to identify where to center the stars on the tank too. So I'll use that line on the point and that'll help me get them central too. So I'm gonna leave that central line in there as long as possible. So those lines are pretty parallel. How's that come up in the camera? Yeah, not too bad. So 
you know, your eye's a pretty good judge of straight lines, so I'm pretty happy with that. And you can see I just used a little piece of, you know, two inch masking, two inch, whatever size this is, two inch masking tape, just as a, a guide, and I just ran the tape parallel to the tape. So uh, that's, I don't know, the quickest and easiest way I could think of doing it. So at this point now, I'm going to, I'm going to, I think what I'm going to do is use this tape as a spacer and run a second one down here and then run a third one which will be the edge of my my inner line and then work out the gap between those two and then run another one so the one that's right between here and the red line will just be the spacer line so that'll come off and reveal a gap that's the width of the tape so we'll get into that later on